Do you mean more? Pleasure to follow the honourable gentleman, and it's an honour to be taking part in the debate at a crossroads in our history. In 2016, the British people voted to leave the European Union, and the government and this Parliament needs to respect those wishes. I accept, Mr. Speaker, that there are passionate views on both sides, and speaking for myself, I have always treated those with differing views with respect. Yeah. But it is wrong for some to suggest that most people didn't know what they were voting for. Many of those that espouse those views really think that the people of this country should not have been given that decision in the first place. It is my belief that those are calling for a second referendum are seeking to damage our democracy. As no decision by the British people would mean anything anymore, because once a decision was reached, those that were not happy would try to undo it. And this might go on again and again and again and again. Now, division is healthy in a democracy and in our political process. But a second referendum, I believe, would take our country to breaking point and undermine the dignity in our democracy. The withdrawal agreement does allow for some control to be taken back. And, Mr Speaker, I do respect that the, the endeavours of the Prime Minister. She has made a major commitment to this. Her perseverance is commendable and her diligence unquestionable. Yeah. There is only one point I wish to make on this withdrawal agreement, and that is on the Northern Ireland backstop. The inclusion of the backstop is perhaps the most potent aspect of this agreement, given the fact it poses a real threat to the integrity of our United Kingdom. While some have tried to allay the fears with optimism, more concerning are those that have displayed a parochial indifference that fails to recognise our role as United Kingdom members of Parliament acting in the interests of the whole United Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The British people did not vote to have the foundations of our nation to be undermined in any way. And Mr Speaker, Mr. Speaker I'll never forget one